don't know how we're going to cut this. I guess we'll have to lop off the top first and then roll it. Oh, this will be interesting. So it's amazing how much stuff you don't see on YouTube, but I realized I had no gas, so I couldn't start up the sawmill. Had to run out, get gas, come back. So I set the log down while I did that. Now I got to stand it up again. All right, you know what? I'm going to keep it standing like that and knock this knob off the top. Oh, no, I'm not, because it's hanging out this side. This is a really big log. All right, time to eliminate butt swell. And I don't mean by dieting. That's one side. Got it. Oh. All right, I'll show you what I cut off here. So there's this side. That was a pretty big cut there. You can see real good. This is the piece I cut off. I can't even pick it up with oh, one. I guess I can. And then this side, I think we'll clear here. We're gonna have to try. If not, I'll, I'll move it that way a little bit. These, not using them at all. That's what I had to cut off there, just so that we can go by here. So let me put you back on. And we'll see what we can do here. I don't know if that's a good angle for you. Let's put you on the skidster. Then you'll get to see real well. And I'll put you up high so you got a good view. All right, so this goes up 36 inches high. And I'm going to clip the top inch if I do that. So let me grab the tape measure and get some measurements here. All right, so this is the small end. And across here, wide ways, 30 and a half. Height wise, 24 inches. Length, 24. length is right at eight foot, might be an inch longer. Width at the big end, 34, and the height off the bunks, 36. So I'm gonna come in here at about 34 inches and just lop some of that off.
Well, it helps if you turn the gas on. So I don't like the way that was rocking, so I'm going to stuff a wedge under it here. It's too big. And one on the other side, I think. Just all right. A lot of rot. That'll make some good firewood for someone. Big hole here. Not even close to getting to the length of the log yet. So I think I'll just take one inch thick slabs, boards, whatever you want to call them, because they're easier to carry. Got some nice spalting. Oh, put this down and I'll show you. I'll show you why we turn that off in a minute. All right, let's pull this down into the sunlight. So, you can see there's some nice spalting in here. I mean, look at how big this is. <laughs> but there's a lot of rot. But you know, who knows? Maybe we could get something out of this. Getting a lot of chatter. That's not good, but that's because the log is, it's doing that, you know? I mean, I've got, I put a wedge under it right there. Try and stop that, but that's not gonna do much.
All right, so here's the problem. See the end? This right here is going to hit this side. If I had an inch, I could get by. On this side, right down there, I'm going to hit that box, but I've got almost an inch. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and move it over closer to that box and see if I can get enough space so I can keep cutting. So let's see if I can move a one ton log with this thing. That's enough here. Not quite. How much do I have left? Oh, I got about a half inch yet. All right. Let's go a little further. That was probably too much. Boards. Yeah, so this has gone down on the ground too. I got to edge it into a board.
just wanted to show you. Yeah. The other GoPro got run over. It's all busted. Yeah. I don't know what to do about that one. So we're down to one GoPro. over and show you what I'm working with here. Beautiful stuff. I got this tree from a tree service. Anyway, I got this tree from a tree service. It's been down who knows how long. Rotting standing, rotting laying on the ground. I don't know. But I want to give you just an idea of what I'm dealing with here. Oh, come on, you're coming with me. God, that magnet is strong. So, you can see the rot there. There's more rot over here, but there's this beautiful spalting. Look down here, look at this. This is amazing. That would make a really pretty board, and I should be able to get a good board out of the middle of this. But, here, this is what I was going, ooh. That's a little bit of curl there. I don't know what that is there, but it's three dimensional. If that was stained, it would look gorgeous. So, just to give you an idea of, stop that. Picture a board. 28 inches wide. So you know all those guys with the LT35s? They stop cutting at 25 inches, 24, you know, maybe 26. I'm not at the full width of this and you know, it'll go out to here to 35. But that is a wide board there. That is a wide board. Okay, going back to the skid start. Oh my gosh, I'm climbing all over the place today. <sighs> yeah, so I guess it would help if I plugged in the microphone. Wouldn't it? There you go. Try not to get run over like the other guys did. Hey, guess what? We got flat sides. No more nonsense.
I can edge that one into a board. Or Taking the P-35 space modulator. Now let's see how wide we are first. So we're still at 20 and 3 quarter inches. So this is more than a 20 inch wide board. And once I get down through that, they should all be solid maple boards. And it does, it comes down to about here. But up here, I'll start getting some shorter ones. That'll be interesting. It's spalted maple. It can be some really pretty stuff when you varnish it. got some holes in this one but like up to here it's probably pretty good so I'll put these on the table saw get something out of them this one is almost solid so another one for the table saw. And now I'm down to solid wood. I've got a big cube going here. This is looking good. I'll bring you guys over and show you. This is 20 inches wide, 20 and a half inches wide, which is nice board. That'll fill up my rack over here in no time. So I'm going to cut these inch and a quarter thick. Come here, you, you're coming with me. Now let go, there. All right. So I'm going to get up on here to do this. Twenty and a half inches wide. <laughs> and you can't see it great because there's some shadow, but Check this out. Huh? There's some nice spalting in here. And that comes all the way up to my footprints. So, big log. Big logs are fun, but they're also a pain. So, I got those wide-ass boards stacked up. 
Those are 21 inches wide. I mean, <laughs> you can put two of them across, that's it. I had one, two, three, four, five underneath, but only two on top. So now we're gonna cut some skinnier ones. I stood the log up. Let's go around this way. Yeah, what a day, huh? And you can see I got it stood up. Oh, I gotta put those down. So I'll put those down and then we're going down through this all in one big swoop. So I'll probably, I think I'll put you up here. Should get a pretty good view from here. That'll get you a little closer to the action. How about here? That is one heavy chunk of wood there, I'll tell you. That's 21 and a half inches by like 10. Show you that. You got a little sawdust on you. That's better. Check this out. That's some beautiful wood there sure what that pattern is right here. That's kind of weird. But this spalted parts, it like fills in the little areas. That's pretty cool. Still a bunch of sawdust up there. So we've gotten something out of it. I'm going to move you back a little bit this time. Uh, no, what, what I'll do is I'll put you over here where you can see the sawdust side. And you'll just see the blade come through the end and the sawdust flying out. Man glitter, whatever. It's fun stuff. All right, let me get these boards off of here, these heavy things. Oh, yeah. Uh. Huh. Wet wood is so heavy. I mean, two by 12s this size are like a third the weight. These things have got to be 50 pounds a piece, maybe 60. I don't know, I couldn't lift this with one hand, so. All right, get back to cutting. Got some bug damage at this end. 
in here. See it? So I think at this point, I'm going to stop cutting boards. I'll whack it off about here, save that piece, and trash that because that's all infected with bugs. <laughs> So, I got these. I'll go put them on the pile. Got that nice piece there. I'll just shove that in the garage somewhere. Let it dry out. I can use it, you know, cut it into chunks and use it for blocking under wheels or whatever I feel like. And then this, that piece there, you can see it's all rotted. I think you can see that. So that'll be firewood. Well, folks, hope you've enjoyed it. That's it for today. We'll be back with another log next time. Have a good one.